G'day guys, so it's been a couple of days. Uh, so Brendo's finished the inside of the uh, plastering and stuff. He's also patched the flooring, which looks amazing. Um, I'll, I'll show you that later. I've, there's, there's a couple of patches where he's, he's you know, put it in. I've, I had to go get some um, skirting board as well for him. So we found that at um, All, Allwood, um, just in Welshpool there. So um, picked up some skirting boards for him. Um, so he's fitted the door frames. Um, I also, a good idea is there was a, like a big gap in there. That, so I filled that with um, foam. Um, the night before just to let it ease out and, and, and you know, sort of so, solid it up a bit, get a bit more insulated and stuff, then we can just, just cut that back. So yeah, sorted all that out. And then um, I got Dylan, uh, he's the one that did the warehouse as well, did a fantastic job, so I was very lucky to get, get him back um, to uh, do the tiling for us. So he came and did the flooring, you know, all the, the screed. Um, yeah, amazing, mate, like two, three hours, mate, had them both sorted, it just looks perfect. He had a like a, one of those cement mixes that are, are, are laying down, it's not one of the normal ones that the brickies have. So I think it makes it a lot stiffer and, and you know, it's better to work with, but they're about three grand or something. So he's got the best equipment. That's why he, he does the best job and he's got skills as well. So anyway, I also got um, Jason here from Titan Maintenance. He's putting up the um, ceiling track around the, around the bathrooms now. And so the tiler can tile up to it and then we can get the, the ceiling can be put in after that and give it a really nice finish. I'm having a negative edge uh, it's the same that I've got the warehouse in the bathrooms. So anyway, we're all moving along. But um, yeah, what else? I'll, I'll just show you around. Um, so the, the screening's all finished. I'll show you that now. And then, um, yeah, show you Jace. We'll walk up the tracks and I'll show you some of the tiles. Okay, okay so me and my son, Sammy, we, we replaced the, uh, the RAM board, the, the cardboard protection uh, on the weekend just to get, the, um, get it fresh again because it was just you know, smashed after two weeks of having the brick laying down and the plastering and all that sort of stuff. So. That's all fresh. We just left, left the stuff that we hadn't done yet. That's the, that's the stuff that we get. Okay, so. Okay, so you can see the screed's all been finished. See how perfect it is. Beautiful falls all the way around. Good so, All looking good. And that's, the, uh, that's the, the track for the ceiling going all the way around. And so the tile is going to tile up to that. And then go. Here's the towel rails, mixes and stuff. So. Yeah, getting all sorted. Oh, yeah, here's a bit of the skirting that Brendo put on, just match perfectly. So once we get that painted and stuff, that'll be, that'll be sweet. Um, has the walls all finished out. So it's another, another big bit of skirting. Okay, down here. So, it's Jason Sandra putting up the, putting up the um, line here. Getting it all sorted. Yeah, once the um, screen, the, the, the floor screed went in, I could actually measure up where the, um, you know, the back entry toilet spud came out. And one was okay, but it, you know, it was a big gap there that I had to fill in. So I had to like ratchet, ratchet strap to another, the basin tap to get it to sit where I wanted it. And then I just cemented it all up in the, with the Jet Creek. But the other bathroom of my daughter's um, ensuite, the, the big secret is, um, I had to cut that and bring it up and across on a 45, another 30 mils just to get that in the right spot once once I knew exactly what the floor was going to do. So yeah, that, that's all sorted, cemented all that up and stuff. So Dylan's just um, working in there now. Um, he's doing the waterproofing right around the shower and everything. And they use this like fiberglass tape sort of stuff on the corners. So, you know, cause it's going to move and uh, over the years. And then that's what happened with the older houses. They never put any of this stuff on and tiles are actually porous. Like if you grab a tile, dunk it in water and then like you weigh it beforehand, dunk it in water and weigh it after, it holds water. So it just seeps through and that's what the problem I had with my, um, with my shower with that leak and then got all the black mold in the cupboard is because it didn't have waterproofing. So I said, go nuts with it, mate. Like do a couple of coats or extra that you need to. I don't want to have to do this again. So I'll show you the um, waterproofing now. So here he is, just sticking on. So doing the whole floor because that all could get wet. So doing a one coat first of the sealer. And this is the stuff that they use. You know, that sort of fiberglass stuff that they sort of stick in the corners and do that really well, stick it on. And then they end up putting the blue stuff. So that's just the sealer to make it stick nicely. And then they use this, uh, the other, the membrane they call it. So anyway, good, things going, going good. So once the tiling's all all sort of done and, and sorted, um, the the we'll have to put some of that ram board down um, to protect the floor. And then the ceilings can go in, then we can start painting. And then, you know, I think I have to start putting the yeah, putting everything back in. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Keep Australia beautiful. Catch ya.